This is Steve Knott. Even though he studies knot theory, he has failed to tie the knot with anyone. The truth is, Steve is socially awkward and he has trouble communicating in general. One day, Steve decided he was tired of being socially awkward, so he ventured out into the great unknown, leaving the comfort of his own apartment and moving to the apartment next door where a party was going on and everyone was dancing. Thinking that he too would be cool if he danced with everyone, Steve walked to the center of the dance floor and just started undulating like crazy. It was then that he remembered something important. He couldn't dance. In fact, he was so bad at dancing that everyone at the party was repelled away from him with a force proportional to their own desire to be light and the inverse of the square of their distance from Steve. Not knowing what to do, Steve continued his awkward dance until he remembered something from a physics class he once took. Kuramoto Oscillation It was then that he knew what he had to do. He had to modulate the gyration of his hips by taking his own awkward oscillation and modifying it with a weighted average of some function dependent on how far off he was with everyone else's dancing. He had to synchronize himself with everyone else. He had no time to think about the optimal function for this system, so he just chose sine and went with it. It took some time, but Steve finally began to catch on and everyone began to notice. Soon, Steve's dancing was so great that everyone was attracted towards him with a force proportional to their distance from Steve and their own attractiveness with a dampening effect based on their velocity to prevent them from running into each other. Finally, Steve Knott, the awkward knot theorist, was popular. At least until the song stopped and Steve continued dancing anyway. I guess the moral of the story is, don't be like Steve. Learn to dance before going to the party. And if you are like Steve, well, do what I did. Stay at home, read up about Kuramoto Oscillation, and simulate what it would be like if you went to the party in the first place. Trust me, it's better for everyone. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.